Now, the evening of my, um, when I crowned it, um, well, my dad hugged me and he just told me how much he's very proud of me. Aww. Aww. Stop it. <laughs> Swimsuits is Miss Universe 2002 continues here on CBS. Well, the swimsuit competition is coming up, and let's face it, ladies, there's only one way to prepare for it, working out. That's the way to do it. Puerto Rico proved to be the perfect spot for the girls to have just that right amount of work and fun in the Caribbean sun. is cardio, lots and lots of cardio. And I do lift weights, I uh, do bench pressing. I like to work with free weights more so than you know other weights because I prefer I get an equal amount of coverage on both arms and legs. Stretching is very important because after a long workout, it's very important to elongate your muscles because they become tense after a workout. So cardio, lifting weights, and thousands and thousands of crunches. <laughs> and lots of stretching, that's my workout routine. I'm very physically active, I like to engage in sports. Cardio is definitely one big element of my routine. I like to run, probably about for half an hour to 45 minutes every day. And um, after that I do some weight training. And I train all parts of my body. That's lower body, upper body, arms, back, you name it. You're seeing quite a shift and even the body type of women that enter these competitions. Traditionally, you would have uh, more petite frames, but now you've got women who are more physically active, more of a muscle tone coming in, which I think is fantastic because I think physical and mental health are very important components. The super special. Body in shape for this next part of the competition. It's really that certain kind of unique, hard to find confidence that the judges are looking for. Yeah, but of course, if you happen to look fabulous in a swimsuit, hey, no one's going to argue with that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Point Apparel Swimsuit and Fitness Competition.
Rico's capital city of San Juan is one of the world's best tourist destinations. From its cobblestone streets to its historic fortresses and castles, everywhere you look are architectural gems like no place else in the world. history, San Juan is a modern city with world-class shopping, outstanding dining, and a vibrant, exciting nightlife. Discover our traditional hospitality, and you will come back for more. Come to San Juan. Feel San Juan. All of the delegates came here tonight with high expectations, but they also brought with them some misconceptions about each other's countries. Who did you most want to meet? I most wanted to meet China because I studied Chinese at school and I went to Shanghai and Beijing on a student exchange program. It was also their first year in the pageant. And China speaks perfect English. Yes, she's very good. <laughs> How about you? Any misconceptions? Oh yes, um, I expected Miss Sweden to be the classic Nordic beauty, but instead I got a Tyra Banks look-alike. <laughs> we come in all shapes and colors and sizes, that's what's special. Um, any good roommate stories? I have a great roommate story. My roommate was Miss Canada, and I expected as well some blonde, blue-eyed woman, and she, was, she is of East Indian descent. And I am so proud of her for breaking some molds and representing the diversity of the Miss Universe pageant. Well, there you go. Earlier this week, we caught up with some of the delegates who had a lot to say, not only about misconceptions, but about the changing roles of women all around the globe. The biggest misconception that people have about the women in my country is that they're very conservative. But I am an example, and you know, I want to take everyone home with me and show them that we are excellent homemakers, but that's not the only thing we do. People expect the women in my country being Asian to be subservient. Yeah. But that's not true because Singapore is, I think, one of the leaders in Southeast Asia in terms of giving equal opportunity mm -hmm. to the women of our country. We have leaders who are women, who represent women's issues. Yeah. Our president is a woman. Yeah. Our former president is a woman. Yeah. The role of Irish women in society is the highest. In Canada, women have reached a level of equality with men. I don't think it's a matter of um, intelligence or, or ambition or faith even, I think it's a matter of opportunity. And I know in my country we've been given that opportunity. Being from Africa, I can really relate to what Miss India and Miss Singapore say. We got our independence in 1990, and we're a relatively new democracy. So women are only now finding their way to parliament. They're really working towards, you know, uplifting women. People think traditional and they think male-dominated. Yeah. But for us, in Micronesia, historically, women have the most status and power. Um, especially now, going through modern times, women still have control of all the land, of businesses. So we actually empower the women. Oh, I'm sure all of the countries are very proud of being represented here tonight by such a group of diverse and interesting, not to mention beautiful women. Way to go, ladies. Good job now. Who's having a good time here in Puerto Rico? Woo! We are! Is this a great place or what? All right, we're going to keep the party going. Who loves Mark Anthony? Oh, we all do. do. <laughs> you just got a big hug from Mark. Yeah, a hug and a kiss, actually. Oh, there you go. Well, we've got him for you right now. You won't get the hug and a kiss, but you will get him performing one of his biggest hits you sang to me. Once again, international superstar, Mark Anthony. <laughs>
nightlife, culture, and history. But it is also a capital of modern business activity. San Juan features luxurious hotels and premier meeting and convention facilities. The financial district is the center of the island's banking industry and home to diverse and powerful national and international companies. San Juan, a unique combination of past and present with a future as bright as its sunlit beaches. This super special is brought to you by Extraderm CEP. Well, now it's getting exciting. Okay, everyone, it's late in the game. The judges have made some tough decisions, and we're about to narrow down the top ten to the final five. Here are the choices in random order. First up, Panama. Super Special is brought to you by Pantene. Party competition, and this is definitely my favorite part. Really getting to know the delegates just a little bit better, one-on-one. -on -one. 
And for the first time at Miss Universe, the top five will each be asked questions that were posed by the other delegates. They'll have 35 seconds to answer until they hear this bell. Yeah, some of the delegates have requested to use precision translating services. So, there are no right or wrong answers. You know, it's just a matter of being yourself with the entire universe watching. Not much pressure, right? Right. I'm sure they're going to do great, okay? So, here we go. We're going to start with Panama. Hola. Take a question. Okay. The delegate from France asks, if you had to represent another country in this competition, what country would you want to be? And why? Si tuvieras tú que representar a otro país en este concurso o el certamen, ¿qué país sería y por qué sería ese país? Well, since my visit here, I feel now that I would love to represent Puerto Rico. I would like to represent. Thank you. Panama. Thank you. Okay. Next up is China. Hello. Take a question. Okay. Let's see. This question is from you. So that would be way too easy. You got to pick another one. <laughs> okay. I'm popping that one back in there. This one is from Nigeria, and she asked, what is the biggest misconception about your country? Um, I think uh, maybe uh, always Western people, and they will think like uh, Chinese people, they have very uh, short, and they have a traditional, and they very quiet. And uh, I think right now, look me! All right, South Africa, it's your turn. Go ahead and pick your question. Okay. This question is from China. What's the one thing that you need to overcome? I think I tend to be a little bit self-critical at times. Um, I set goals for myself, and when I don't achieve them or don't achieve them soon enough, I seem to be very, very critical. So if I can get over that, I think nothing could stand in my way. Thank you. Okay. Belgium poses this question. What is the most important thing that you learned about yourself through participating in Miss Universe? ¿Qué es lo más importante que has aprendido de tu persona al participar en el certamen de Miss Universo? Well, definitely that we as human beings prepare skills to get our goals and since uh, I have a great family and since they have raised me with a lot of love, I have been developing skills to be where I am right now. You, I'm here with you because of you and you made me. And thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, Russia. Hello. Go ahead and put the question. All right, let's see. Costa Rica asks, if your life were a videotape, what would you erase and what would you replay? If you would show your life on the screen, what would you do and what would you do again? I would show your life on the screen. It was very beautiful. And I don't care about how it was my life. I would first like to talk about my childhood because it was a very pleasant experience. And then as I would talk about my life, I would like for my life to be shown from the beginning to the end. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Okay, coming up, see which country takes the crown right here on Miss Universe 2002.
Well, you know, before we get started, Daisy, I'd like to ask a question that all the men in this audience want to know, and probably all the men around the world want to know. Have you ever put a dress on that didn't look good? Phil, you handsome devil. Compliments will get you everywhere. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank all you. Right. I love that. All right, now before we crown the new Miss Universe, we'd first like to give out two very special awards. The winners will also receive the Hoya Crystal Trophy. First, the award for Miss Photogenic was voted by you, the public, online. So let's see who you pick to be most photogenic. And the winner is Puerto Rico. and the prestigious title also gets a whole lot of amazing prizes. Here to show us the reigning Miss Universe, Denise Quinonez. The Miss Universe is a New York City apartment during her reign, a fabulous personal appearance wardrobe, and a welcome card in the CBS daytime drama, The Bold and the Beautiful. Maurice Lacroix, maker of fine Swiss timepieces and the official watch of Miss Universe 2002, proudly presents this year's winner with a stunning diamond watch. She also receives a $3,000 cash prize from Bluepoint Apparel, the official swimwear of Miss Universe 2002 and proud sponsor of tonight's swimsuit competition. Arpeggio International, the official cosmetic line of Miss Universe 2002, presents a collection of Arpeggio Cosmetics and a $3,000 cash prize. The School for Film and Television in New York City is proud to award Miss Universe with a $45,000 scholarship to its two-year conservatory program. Mikimoto, the official jeweler of Miss Universe 2002, is proud to present this year's winner with an exquisite cultured pearl and diamond tiara. She will also be the first to wear the official Mikimoto crown. Stuart Weitzman presents a specially created Miss Universe shoe along with footwear from his collection. A super special. First hand look at the making of the official Miss Universe crown. I was proud to meet with Mr. Mikimoto in Japan where he and his craftsmen worked for months to create the ultimate crown for the ultimate woman. What they designed was truly unique. Our design of the rising phoenix symbolizes power, grace, and eternal beauty. All the attributes of Miss Universe. The crown includes 120 cultured pearls and 800 diamonds weighing 18 carats and is valued at $250,000. Tonight, this very special crown becomes a part of the Miss Universe tradition. Coming up, the final question and the crown as Miss Universe 2002 continues. San Juan is the island's premier center of performing arts, theater, and music. Host to fabulous events such as Old San Juan Gallery Night, the Casals Festival every summer, the Symphony Orchestra, and many other popular events. San Juan has... Well, it doesn't matter what country you're from, expressing yourself under pressure is hard for anyone. And that's what the final round is all about. The top five delegates will be asked 
the very same question which was submitted on CBS.com. We begin with Panama. This question was su submitted online. Oh, I'm sorry. Delegates, please step over to the listening station so you can't hear. There we go. Now, if they can't hear, we can get started. This question was submitted online from Sydney, Australia. This is your final question. What makes you blush? ¿Qué te hace ruborizar, sonrojar? Well, I really can't help blushing when people compliment, compliment me or they give me their sincere um, cariño. Love. The sincere love, it's very, I love it, but it's so, I feel so blessed that I can't help blushing. That's I, honestly what it is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next up is China. <laughs> this is your final question. What makes you blush? Uh, uh, right now. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, when I was with my family, when I was my best friends, and right now when I was with all of the Puerto Rico friends. And I think, and I think I'm so proud right here. And I think I'm the first to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is South Africa. This is your final question. What makes you blush? What makes me blush? Uh, being embarrassed. I think I'm a person who's very, very proud. And I don't take it easily when people make fun of me. So definitely that. I tend to be the sort of you know, stiff upper lip. <laughs> Thank you. Next up is Venezuela. This is your final question. What makes you blush? ¿Qué te hace ruborizar, sonrojar? Ooh la la. <laughs> well, I believe that um, when people say something cute to me and it makes me feel a little anxious, I would blush. <laughs> okay, thank you. Great job. And next up is blush y'all. This is your final question. What makes you blush? Что тебя заставляет краснеть? Когда я говорю неправду. When I say the wrong things. We can all relate to that. Thank you. Great job, everyone. Now it's all in the hands of the judges who will rank the top five and will decide who will win Miss Universe. I am here with Denise Quinone as the reigning Miss Universe from Puerto Rico. Can you feel the love, Mama? These people love you. <laughs> I'm feeling the love right now, yes. <laughs> All right, well, the judges right now are, are voting on what they've just heard and what they've just seen. What are they looking for? I think a straightforward answer, an answer that comes from the heart, a clear answer as well. I think that's what they're looking for. Well, you've been right where they are. Do you even remember last year? What were you thinking? Were you nervous? Oh, I wasn't nervous, nervous at all. I think I was very concentrated and focused on giving the proper answer. So I, I felt pretty calm, especially I had people in Puerto Rico right next to me. So. Of course, although I would think, would that make you more nervous because there's more pressure or does it just psych you out? Well, thank God I didn't feel any pressure at all. On the contrary, I felt very relaxed and I had the blessings and the support of all the Puerto Rico people. So I, I think that can give me a plus. All right, so now we know the top five. Any predictions? Um, I don't know. I think the public here loves Russia. Uh, Panama is beautiful, too. We have a great answer. China is uh, very authentic. Uh, you know what? Who knows? Anything can happen right now. You rock. You've done a great job. Congratulations. You guys don't go anywhere because we are just a minute away from the crowning of Miss Universe 2002 right here on CBS. Before we announce Miss Universe 2002,
to, we'd like to acknowledge some very special people who helped make this night happen. Well, let's give a big thank you to Angelo Medina, president of Angelo Medina Enterprises. Dana Cruz, president of the San Juan 2002 Miss Universe Post Committee. The Honorable Mayor, Jorge Santini, the mayor of San Juan. with CBS of the Miss Universe organization, Mr. Donald Trump. And now, taking her final walk as the reigning Miss Universe, Denise Quinones. I have been happy to return to the place where my journey began. It has truly been an unforgettable year, filled with adventure, surprises, challenges, growth, tears, and smiles. There's also been a time of giving and making a difference. My work towards helping end HIV AIDS has been the most fulfilling experience of this journey. To all the people at the many incredible charities and health organizations, thank you for all your passion and commitment towards finding a solution. To everyone at the Miss Universe organization, my heartfelt thanks for your support, for the space to learn and grow, and for believing in my dreams and aspirations. To my family and friends, especially my dad, mom, and brother, you are my life and my soul. It was not easy being away from you during my travels. And last but not least, I would like to thank God for all the blessings that he has given me. This year, I got to personally admire and feel your masterpiece we call the world. What better price package could one ask for? <laughs>